our way to? Um, downtown? What are we doing downtown? Um, gonna play hippie or homeless? No, we're not! That's an Oregon game. That is not what we're doing. Don't ask. Don't ask, just don't ask. We're going on a cruise. We are packed. We are ready to go. Um, this one slummed around all morning. I put in a half day at work. Sucks for you. <laughs> I thought you were gonna make some comments about not slumming around. <laughs> all right, so we're on our way. We're going on a three night cruise on the Freedom of the Seas out of the Port of Miami. We're gonna go to Nassau. We're not getting off the ship. And we're going to perfect day at Coco Cay. We also have to deal with Tropical Depression Fred that is coming to visit on today, Friday the 13th. Hopefully he doesn't mess up our perfect day at Coco Cay. Yes, that was a total shameless, corny thing I did there. Hopefully it'll be great. And we'll see you there. Bye. Drop dead, Fred. Hey babe, What's up? where are you? Huh? Where are you? Room? Did you say a motel room? I said hotel room. A hotel. You are not in a hotel room. Technically, yes, I'm in a hotel room. You are in a state room. I'm in a hotel room. I'm in a floating hotel. All right, don't listen to him. He's a big liar. We are in our room. It is a junior suite on the Freedom of the Seas. This is the first time we've been in a junior suite, so we're really excited, and let's show you around while we figure out what's going on here. So, we have the restroom. We've got a tub! Bathroom, not restroom. Whatever. We've got a tub. Never had a tub on a ship before. This is pretty spacious. So the doors open. Three shelves. 
This is the same setup that we normally have on the other bathrooms. There's a shelf underneath where you can put some stuff. There's also a garbage can. Do not flush things down the toilet. What's this? Holy cow! We didn't bring enough clothes. There's a walk-in closet. For those of you that haven't been on a cruise before, this closet is about the size of your bathroom on a regular cruise. This might be bigger than your bathroom on a regular room. And then there's also another little mini closet. We didn't bring enough stuff. There are three drawers here, more drawers. We've got a blow dryer. These, I'm not gonna open them, I know what they are. They are logoed masks. I'm kind of collecting these, so you can kind of see a little logo right there, the white masks. I have some from our last cruise. We have our own little coffee. La Vaza. I think we're gonna try some coffee in the morning. Let's see, we've got original. Looks like there's just original there. Got some tea. London breakfast, I haven't had London breakfast. I'm excited. What's down here? The mini bar. Which is empty, that's okay. Got a sitting area, nice big bed with plenty of room on both sides of the bed. Welcome aboard letter. Sitting area and the biggest balcony. I'm excited about this. Got two loungers and two seats and a table. Nice location. Midship, roughly. Beautiful view of Miami. It's a nice size balcony. Can you still record? Yes. All right, we've got to our room. We've got our C pass cards. What's our next priority? Get your phone connected to the internet and get a drink because you've been busy. Well, I thought you were going to say go get a drink. Bye. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you really want to know? No. Where are you? I'm at a sports bar. And where is the sports bar? Watching tennis. Where is the sports bar? In the Port of Miami. <laughs> So there's lots of televisions all over. There's some here on the wall. Uh, super blurry. On the wall over here, there's some here. There's the back wall. Some on the other side, behind the poles. And here there's a ton of big, 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 so we've been to Playmakers on several different ships and I have to say the one here is my absolute favorite. It's location on the ship is indoors versus on some of the Oasis class ships. It's outdoors and it gets really humid and hot, and especially in South Florida. I don't know if any of this video is going to work because it's so loud in here. Um, but this is the largest of the venues on the Mariner and the Navigator of the Seas. It's on the Royal Promenade, which means that it is on this inner city street portion of the ship. And the venue just spills out into the walkway. 
So I really like the venue here the best. This is the first one that it's located here right outside of the casino. Perfectly situated for anything you could possibly want to do day or night. And we're going to be here for a little while and have some drinks and some amazing food.
this morning. Last night we went to a comedy show and we spent some time in the Schooner Bar. Schooner Bar is one of my favorite locations on the ship. They usually have a pianist in there doing like sing-along type music. So that was a lot of fun. They have some really good drinks. Try the Sandy Collins. It's my favorite. And then last night I had a pirate old-fashioned for the first time and that is an amazing one. It might become my new favorite. Today, while we are in Nassau, we are not getting off the ship. We're going to enjoy the pool while everybody else gets off. This ship holds about 4,500 people, and the cruise director said last night in the show that there's about 1,700 people on board, so we're not even at 50%. So that does make the ship feel a little bit more empty than it normally does. And my favorite times on a cruise is when everybody else gets off in port, and I can just enjoy the entire ship to myself. So that's what I'm really looking forward to doing today. I'm going to go to the pool, I'm going to go to the solarium, spend some time there. There's a really cool solarium on this ship. Um, there's, it has a little bridge that goes over the pool and inside the pool there's some seats and there's like a counter that goes across so you can enjoy your drinks and a little bit of shade while you're still in the pool, which is all amazing. So we're going to go ahead and get our day started. Right now we are waiting for our room service breakfast to be delivered and then we're going to head out. So let's see what we have to encounter today. Breakfast today is some over easy, no over medium eggs with bacon and some hash browns. Jesse has, what's in your uh, thing? Ham omelet. Ham it's a cheese. ham and cheese omelet. I think this is some cheese gooey. Ooh, there's a lot of cheese in there. And a bagel and some hash browns. And we don't do things small. So there's also pancakes and croissants and I think that's raspberry, so that's all yours. And lots of goodies. So we're gonna eat, and then what are we doing today? Um, I don't know. Whatever.
people who don't know how it works getting things on and off of ships, including people, this is what it looks like. So these doors open, they, um, some swing down. These doors completely swing, away, um, swing in. So there's different kinds. So you'll see this one way down there swings down, just like the closer one. These middle ones are intended for people, so they're shaped a little bit different. They're more narrow. And those doors swing inwards. And that's where they roll up the gangways. For the ones like the one down there, they will pull a forklift right up to the edge of the ship. You actually see it right there. It will pull off pallets of items or put on pallets of items and then move them around that way. So there's a couple different ways to get into and out of the ship, depending on what the purpose is. So it's not a very long walk from where you debark the ship onto the pier out to um, the pier to the end, then it curves sideways and then it goes up to the entrance of Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Even though it's not a long walk, um, a lot of people just don't want to walk that distance. So we do have some people who aren't able to walk that distance. So we have these little go-karts that will take people from here, from the pier, all the way to the Arrivals Plaza at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. We've been here a little for a little bit, and what we're waiting on is we have all these tram cars here. They're all waiting to offload supplies from both ships. We are in port today with the Odyssey of the Seas, one of the new ships for Royal Caribbean. So they're going to be offloading provisions to take to all of the workers and the employees that live on the island. And then they're going to be using these carts to take the employees to where they have to go around the island. And then they will use those carts to start taking all of the um, excuse me, guests up to the arrivals plaza. So we're waiting on our... So we are currently waiting for our breakfast to arrive. As soon as it does, we're going to go ahead and eat and then wait for the perfect day at Coco Cay song to play. And that's going to be our cue that we can get off the ship and go enjoy a perfect day. We've got a visitor. Yeah, because we got food. So we are creatures of habit in this family. I've got my over easy eggs again. Yesterday they were perfect. So I expect them to be cooked perfectly today. Jesse got his ham omelet again. Looks like they have a different cheese in it maybe this time. Yeah. Um, we opted to go for sausage instead of bacon today. Um, this is just all different kinds of sauces and things. And then in there, we've got blueberry pancakes today. They were pretty good yesterday, so we're gonna try the blueberry ones today. And we're gonna sit here and enjoy our breakfast and hope to not be attacked by the birds who know we have food.